What is up my friends? My name is Echo and you guys know that I love attacking with miners and today I'm over in Kronos and showing you guys some beautiful attack strategies to use at Town Hall 10. So when I became a Town Hall 10, I was introduced to Miners and the game was completely changed for me forever. Since Town Hall 10, now sitting at Town Hall 12, I have always attacked with Miners for farming and I try to utilize them as much as I can in war as well. So when I come up on attacks like these ones I'm about to show you guys in war, I always want to share them with you because they're not something that you see all over the place. Definitely not an overused strategy and it's something that we could all learn from including myself, even though I'm now a Town Hall 11. In the composition right now, you'll see there's 40 Miners, one Wrecker, and the Heroes. We have primarily uh, Heal Spells, one Rage Spell, and a Freeze Spell, and of course that Poison to support this attack right here. And if you're looking at the base, in this one, we're looking at basically a maxed out Town Hall 10 base right here. It's a good looking base. So we're not going against some trash base and uh, we're going to kind of just see how this goes. Let's roll it in a second. Before you do, I want to thank you guys for coming down. I appreciate each and every one of you. And remember, if you're into Clash of Clans, subscribe to the channel because I'm coming out with Clash content for you guys every single day. Now, let's get into this attack, guys. Let's see where things start out and kind of break down the keys to success right here. Now we know that the Wrecker is going to be used to do some tanking. And this attack is done by man and we have that Wrecker coming in from the opposite side of the base as the Town Hall. So we have a lot of tanking going on. The Wrecker is coming in, the Miners are all put in. Notice the Queen is on the northern side of the base and the King is on the east. So we have the King and the Queen Funneling in the base as the attack is going on. The wall wreckers tanking, the miners are pushing, the heroes are keeping the, na the base narrow. And basically, you just got to heal yourself through this. Rage in the core of the base where there's a lot of fire. And let's see what comes out of that wrecker. I believe it's going to be more miners, but it could be Valkyries. Let's see. We're going to know soon enough. Two heal spells being dropped right there. That worked out just perfectly. And the rage spell in the core, as I said. And we have, what was that? Hog Riders coming out of there? Looks like we have a Hog Rider, at least one, and a bunch of Miners. Look at them raged up. They just tore up the center of that base. No, I did not two times it, guys. Those Miners just went ham in the core of the base. Beautiful attack right here. Really utilizing that Rage spell perfectly. Taking out so much defense and so many structures in the, build, in the core that usually takes so much time to get through. We have a couple of miners chipping at the town hall. King and queen coming together at the end of the attack. And notice the lava hound in the clan castle did absolutely nothing, guys. Because it doesn't really do much work when you're going against deep, against our troops. It can't handle it. And the last thing here was the infernal tower. But the miners say, GG. Easy one right there. That was a mirror hit right there. 21 versus 21. Three star for Kronos. Now I am going to show you an attack using miners that is against a non-maxed out Town Hall 10 base, but it's because I want to show you how the attack was done more than the base that it was done against. So we have this one here from Spartan coming in, and if we pause it again, we'll notice 39 miners, a wizard, and two archers in this one, one less miner, a couple of troops to help support. There are level 2 Inferno Towers. Everything else in the base, though, is maxed from what I can see right here. It's a wider spread base, and usually miners against those tight bases are amazing. You can just heal them along the way, and you're getting great value out of those heal spells. But on these wider bases, it's more difficult sometimes. And let's see how Spartan gets it done. We have a couple of miners coming in, just taking out some of that stuff up in the north. Our king is in over here in the west. And the queen, where is she going to go and where's that wall wrecker going to drop? We know that the town hall is right there on the king. King's ability is being used right there. Going to take down that Tesla farm. Here come all of the miners. There's the wall wrecker tanking for the queen. That's going to allow the queen to stay alive just a little bit longer. And notice it's not even going through much wall until right now. So it wasn't intended for the queen to get into the base. It was intended for the wrecker to tank for the miners and for the queen to maybe even stay on the outside of the base and clean up some of the outside stuff so the miners can stay in the core. The queen can funnel the core and it would just all work work out beautifully there's a lot of stuff on the outside now there is that tesla farm that, or mini tesla farm the queen's gonna have to deal with and uh she will 
Miner's working, I mean the Queen's working on the enemy King, popping her ability, she's going to take out one of those Teslas, we are these Miners, these Miners are all heading down south, the Queen might go down to that Inferno Tower, looks like that's what's going to happen, we are going to lose our girl right there, but not before she takes out that drill, and we have enough Miners to push through the rest of this attack right here, we are fighting with this air defense as the Inferno Tower is taking us down, even though a level 2 right there guys, the Inferno Tower still does a good job against Miners, but not when there's 10 of them on top of it as you just saw, they crushed right through that Inferno, did a beautiful job, and they're going to clean up the rest of this base, Spartan pulling in a beautiful Miner attack right here, so what are the key things we need to look at with this attack, first of all the composition is primarily Miners, there was no Queen walk in these attacks right here guys, it was just basically Miners, pushing the base, using that wall wrecker as a tank, and the king and queen opposite sides of the base coming down to keep the base narrow so the miners would stay inside of the base, getting more value out of those heal spells, especially on a widespread base like the one that we're looking at right here. You can use these same attack strategies for farming, and I love farming with miners because these attacks cost zero dark elixir, besides the poison spell, which a lot of times when you're farming, you won't even need to use, let's be honest. So, really gorgeous attacks, demonstrating how to get it done with your basic minor attack. It's basically a mass minor attack, and it is something special. Now, I have something else that's special for you guys. It's not miners, but it's a beautiful attack that I want you to see. And uh, while we start this one up right here, guys, I'm going to remind you that today, you can save 40% on your G Fuel using code ECHO40 at GFuel.com. Normally, we're 10% here, guys, but I have a week of 40% off codes. Take advantage of it, guys. You're not going to find a better deal than that for a long time. Here we have a bit of a Gobo Laloon attack coming in style against base number 3, Town Hall 12 action. And the Inferno Towers are max level. That Wall Wrecker is pushing into the base. Will it make it to the Inferno Tower? We're going to see. It looks like it's going to get onto it, but will it take it down? One strike, two strikes. Beautiful job with that Freeze spell. There's the Rage spell. Kill Squad going right into that Inferno Tower. Beautifully done. Narrowing out the base. Let's take down some of these air defenses. That would be clutch. The uh, Town Hall, I'm sorry, the Clan Castle's Dragon is going down, which is also amazing. You don't want a dragon shooting down your balloons, guys. That can kind of uh, mess up your attack. And look at all these red balloons coming through behind those hounds. The hay spells are being dropped. There's really only one direction for these balloons to go because the base is so narrow right about now. One hound pops. The balloons are going to be right on top of that eagle artillery. With one drop, they should go down. There's another hay spell to get them through this base just a little bit quicker. And the last spell is right over my shoulder right here. And that's going to be that heal spell, which can be used in the final area of the base. And there we go, right down here in the south. Although there is one more compartment over into the west, which has a couple of Tesla. But you want to worry about those wizard towers, guys. Those wizard towers, they do a lot of damage because your balloons tend to cluster up. And then that splash damage of that wizard tower can be a problem. So that's where you're going to want to heal rather than saving it for the compartment that we're looking at right now, which is those Tesla. The Queen, she's continuing on through the base, going to aid with some cleanup. These Tesla have no chance of taking down all of these max level balloons. A gorgeous attack from Style here, showing some really nice Town Hall 12 action. It's nice to see that once in a while, guys. I know that you probably enjoy that for sure. And I think I'll show you one more attack really quickly, and I'm going to just go randomly and choose something here. Let's just spin down right here. What's number 12? Now, that's a dip. I think that may be a dip, and I don't want to show that one. Let's see here. I'm just kind of pulling this one out, guys. Let's go right here. Let's see what Shredded did. Our number 28 on their number 40, the lowest in the, in the war right here. So we're looking at level 1 Infernos, but you know what? Sometimes it's good to give some love. To the lower level attackers and to the lower bases and to just kind of see how it's done on this side of the war as well. Because, you know, I'm always showing you guys, for the most part, attacks against max bases. But that's not what many of you are running up against in war. So right here we have an example of a, a fairly new Town Hall 10. It just dropped its Inferno Towers. We're looking at basically, a, you know, a low level Town Hall 10 here. And we're going to watch this get taken down pretty easily by Shredded using Laloon with that Battle Blimp. We have the heroes coming in, taking down the Town Hall, taking down the Tesla. Queen's going to use her ability right there on the King. And uh, she's going to push on through, engage with the enemy Queen. But will she take down the Queen? It looks like she needs to get really lucky and she's not going to. Level 35 Queen wins that battle in the core just because of the amount of uh, hit points that were left in our Queen. 
Let's get that bowler bounce going right there on that gold storage. King continuing around the base, and I'm curious to see how the rest of this is going to go. All the air defenses are still up. Normally, you're trying to take out at least one air defense but they are all still up the lava hounds are pushing and look at all these haste spells right here the entire first third of the base has been hasted and those balloons are pushing on through nice and strong then you have a rage spell in the core literally a flower of spells and top it off with a freeze spell guys wow that is a crazy amount of spells all in one area I love that entry right there. Glad that we saw this one out of Shredded, showing how he did exactly what his name says, and that is shred this base down. All we have to deal with, two Archer Towers and a Wizard Tower, and that's going to be GG, good night, and well played. One heal spell, one haste spell left over in this attack. Now again, this was against a Town Hall 10 that was fairly new, not a max base. I'm not trying to say that it was crushed and that we were, you know, it was even matchup. Just want to show you guys something different. And you got to see that from Shred. So there you go. There you have it. Back to my home base. Where's my where's my clan castle? There it is. New base design, which I have to get rid of. I don't actually like it at all. But showing some love to Kronos right here. Two videos in a row featuring them. We had La Luna attack strategies or Lava Luna Town Hall 10. And today we focused on those miners. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to throw a thumbs up to support myself the channel and clash of clans as a whole and remember you could always come over and find me on twitter at echo through me i'm continuously engaging with you guys on twitter and if you're not into twitter but you are on discord i have my server currently 1200 members in there good times it's going strong come on down and hang out and that's been it for today guys remember about that g fuel echo 40 is the code take advantage of it if you're looking to try g fuel or if you want to stock up echo 40 save yourself 40 percent it's like for a week or something like that. That's been it though, guys. Thank you so much for coming down. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see all of you back here again tomorrow. Until then, be good.